A lot of people are having trouble getting a gold medal on the replay version of this mission if you missed it during story mode. So here are some tips to help you get the gold medal on replay. After the initial cutscene, run towards your horse to get a head start. This will make Micah walk a little faster to save a couple seconds. Also, cutscene time does not account for that 6 minutes. It will take about 2 minutes to get from the beginning to the cliff. During that time, you should be tapping the X button non-stop to get your horse to gallop faster to get there. The sequence I have recorded here shows one of the fastest times you can do for the talking part of this mission. You know you're making good time when Arthur talks about Lenny when you cross the wooden bridge. I will explain the other tips as we do them during the wagon chasing part at 2 minutes and 20 seconds in this video. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Tristan told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Triscolls are everywhere now. Bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here anyway? Oh, you know how it is? Few loose ends, drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry. Making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I've seen you come full undone more than once now, and you've only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing it. All right, this is the spot. Hold up on this ridge. Over there. They should be here. Right after the cutscene, when you get control again, you want to be mashing X in order to get as much speed as possible. Try to get as close to the corner as you can when you're making this right turn. The shrubs will not slow you down, but just don't hit a pine tree. The hardest part of this mission is to get the 4 headshots on the mounted guards. You can save deadeye time by manually aiming towards the head before you activate the time slow. To save frustration, I would recommend spending a little extra deadeye time to make sure you get the headshots. The later shootout section does not need that much deadeye meter in order to get your 10 deadeye kills. Once you kill the 4 guys on the horses, go ahead and take care of the gunner on the wagon. After that, you want to spare the driver until you get to the forest area after the bridge. This is because the wagon driver moves faster than Micah driving the wagon. However, if you shoot the driver after you leave the forest area, then he will fall off the bridge, so try to get as close as you can without going over. The next tip will be at 4 minutes and 50 seconds during the next shootout section. covered now. It's just you and me, sweetheart. I'll give it to them. They put up half a fight at least. Yeah! Baylock! Come on, boy! Hmm. Here. Find new rifle, too. Here you go, Arthur. From me to you. That's more your style than mine. What did I tell you? Like licking butter off a knife. Something like that. You don't want to just break it open here and be done with it? Could be more than we can carry. Shit! Yeah, we're being robbed! Get across the river! <laughs> At this point, you have about 40 seconds to kill all the enemies. I 
you will need to get as many headshots as you can, as well as getting the remaining dead eye kills. The way I do this is to have the auto aim center on an enemy and manually aim upwards a little before I shoot. Right before each shot, however, I activate dead eye and then shoot. This will cause the headshot to count as a dead eye kill and also use almost no dead eye meter. You should be able to easily get used to this pattern with practice. As you can see at the end of the shootout, I still have almost all my core dead eye as well as a third of the meter remaining. Once you kill the last enemy or he runs away, you will need to shoot the loft on the chest. Hopefully, you will have done this fast enough in order to meet the 6 minute timer as Micah walks back and opens the chest. This is one of the harder missions to get a gold medal during a replay because of your slow horse and the strict time limit. Good luck and if you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll try to answer it. Remember, for those going after the Platinum, you only need 70 gold medals and there's 108 missions to choose from. If this one is being too difficult to get a gold on, just skip it and go for easier ones. Come on, let's see if all this was worth.